Hey everyone, welcome back to the Soft Life channel. Making one paycheck is impossible in today's economy. That's why I need you to make sure to contribute to this platform. A little bit goes a long way and the link is going to be in the comments below. In this video, people are sharing how far their paychecks go. Some are also sharing how they are making it with more than one income. Paychecks have been really low. I really need more hours for the next couple weeks. All right, uh, let me see what I can do. But to be honest, you did miss three days of work last week. I already told you. I had a tummy ache. I understand. Let me see. Whatever you can do. I really could use more hours. No problem. All right. On Friday, you can come. Can't work Friday. That's the day of my Zumba lesson. All right. I could use somebody to close on Saturday. Honestly, I would. But that's the worst day ever to work. And you know that. I understand. How about Sunday? None of my besties are working that day. I'd rather not. All right, let me look at the next week's schedule. Um, on Monday, you... My boyfriend doesn't let me work on Mondays. All right. Uh, There's got to be something you can do for me. On this Friday... Th but that's my neighbor's dog's birthday. Y'all, I'm low-key scared to see how much things are going to cost 10 years from now. Tell me why I went on a little excursion to swim with the dolphins, okay? And I have my little phone ready to start recording and taking photos so I can share with y'all. And a man stops me and he's like, ma'am, you can't have your phone now. You can't be recording or taking pictures. We have licensed professional photographers to take photos of you on your excursion today. I was like, okay, sir, whatever. And so I leave my phone and I go and I'm swimming with a dolphin. And so I get out of the water. It's time to go look at my photos. I ask the lady how much the photos are. And she goes, um, I'll tell you after you're done taking your photos. So I was like, okay. I'm looking through the photos and I'm like, oh, these are pretty cute. And I'm done picking my photos. I pick three photos and I go up to her. I ask her how much they are. She's like, they'll be $50 a piece. I was like, $50? Ooh, I was expecting them to be like $35, $40. And so whatever, I was like, at least they're going to be printed and put in a little photo frame. Y'all, they're not printed. They send you the photos through email. But I took a little photo of the sample so I could still share with y'all. Does anybody else look at their paycheck and go, this is not enough financial compensation for the amount of bullshit that I have to put up with? Okay. No, I don't care. That's not the point. I don't know her. Okay, but that's not the point. Here's what they don't tell you about getting out of debt. Don't let these people fool you. One of the best feelings in the world is knowing that you got two paychecks. And now since you ain't got no bills because you cleared all this shit out, now it only take one check to cover all your bills because you ain't got no cotton note or no crazy shit like that. And that extra check, now you can pull up that bank account every month for the rest of your life and just watch the money just keep stacking. Now you got enough money to fuel your dreams and get out the matrix that's going to break you out the rat race. It's a beautiful film. You guys, it's payday again. So let's go through my payday routine as a 27 year old who's working three jobs. I work as a financial analyst for the Minnesota Timberwolves for my full time job and my net paycheck was $2,183. I do social media on the side and between TikTok's creativity program and selling stuff on my stand store, I made $1,346. And then I also have a part-time job with Lifetime as a tennis receptionist and I made $74 here. I also had $1,074 left over in my checking account, so this brought my total to $4,677. I set aside 30% of my social media money for taxes, so that was about $405. My portion of rent is $1,300, and I set aside half at each paycheck, so $650. I put all of my expenses on a credit card for the points, then I pay off at each paycheck. This paycheck is $1,190. Now we're going to crush my savings goals. I'm going to move $950 to my emergency fund high-yield savings account, $100 to travel, and $100 to my down payment high-yield savings account. And then I have about $285 of bills hitting my account before my next paycheck. This leaves me with $997 for groceries, gas, and fun. Please follow, like, and comment so that I can quit my part-time job. They're hiding warnings in plain sight, and I've been trying to warn the public since 2020, going into 2022 when they started to raise interest rates. And I shared with you guys, as they raise interest rates and try to cool inflation, it is going to jack up the job market. Guys, this is a stark difference from any other time that we had had high interest rates. I want you to pay attention and understand economics. Number one, in the 1980s when we had a high interest rate, we had a good balance sheet, guys. 
America is negative debt to income ratio. Every single dollar in the system is someone else's debt. The bond market is jacked up and inverted. There is no liquidity in the system. Companies cannot borrow their way out of trouble. The stock market is overvalued. And now they're gonna bring inflation down with higher interest rates and the job market is going to start to get shaken. What that means is the normal everyday person, the middle class is about to get smashed because when a company can no longer afford to pay their debt and they have to lower their prices, the most expensive thing on the balance sheet is team members. If you don't believe me, let's listen to Christine Lagarde from the ECB and yesterday all these inflation across the United States China, everywhere around, they're all bringing up inflation now, guys. It's coming. Get prepared. But I'm going to share with you the good news if you're paying attention. Check this out. market remains resilient overall, although there are now some signs that job growth may lose momentum towards the end of this year. Okay, you saw that pause, the swallow. The job markets may lose. And they have to, guys. They're bringing inflation down. Interest rates are high. Money is no longer cheap. Your groceries are 25% higher. Insurance is 30% higher. Appliances are up 12%. Rent is up 20%. So if you made $100,000 in 2020, you now make about $75,000 a year without doing anything. And if you've never heard of the frog in boiling water, that's the public, the American public. The middle class is the frog in boiling water. If you throw a frog in boiling water, it'll hop right out. But if you put it in a pot of lukewarm water and you slowly turn up the heat, it has no idea and it boils itself to death. Guys, America's financial system is screwed. So here's the good news if there is any. So we have high interest rates. They're trying to cool inflation, gonna destroy the job markets. The consumer credit index is maxed out. Everybody's maxed out right now. If you are an investor in assets like crypto, stock market, you're in real estate, an investor, and you held on to these speculative assets that they told you were a fraud, if they lower interest rates on the back end of the year, guys, people are going to come flooding out of the dollar into assets, and your assets are going to skyrocket. So you have the Bitcoin having, you have the Bitcoin ETFs, institutions coming in, and if they lower interest rates, it is going to go absolutely parabolic. But here's the rub. Are you running out of ways to try to rebuild your credit? Well, try Self Lender. It's a free credit score monitoring system that allows their members to open a credit builder account. A credit builder account is a low cost loan that you essentially make to yourself that allows you to build savings and your credit at the same time. Stop getting denied and get on board with Self Lender. The link will be in the description box below. This credit building account is just too good not to share. If you don't get rid of the greed gene and you don't understand that there is no get rid of rich quick and you must pull profits and that somebody has to be the exit liquidity and most likely it'll be the person who doesn't understand this you have to pull profits on the way up so as it goes parabolic exit on the way up it's called a ladder strategy that's how i did it and that's how i'm going to do it so as crypto goes parabolic after the bitcoin having the bitcoin etfs get approved i'll be pulling certain percentages of 50 percent of my portfolio on the way up I'm holding 50% long-term legacy. So I'm exiting 50% of my portfolio. Let me give you an example. If XYZ crypto goes to its all-time high, I will exit about 10% of that 50%. If it goes to my next target, I'll exit about 15%. Does that make sense? Up to the 100% of my 50%. So as you're rushing to the exchanges, trying to pull profit when everything's going parabolic and they accidentally shut down because of technical errors, and you become the exit liquidity, I've already pulled about 40% of my profit. And I secure, and I'm going to max fund more index universal life policies. Compound, secure, and I can borrow against it. I will continue to buy more equity in companies and build my portfolio so I can increase my earned income every single quarter. I will continue to add to my precious metals, and I'm gonna to continue to expand real estate. And most of all, which makes me the richest man in the world, I'm gonna to continue to expand and grow and open up my consciousness to a deeper relationship with God. So I love you guys, I appreciate you. I've been trying to warn the public. So as much time as you spend scrolling on TikTok, as much time as you spend bitching and complaining about all the systems, you should be spending that time educating yourself because this is your one opportunity that our kids, kids, kids will never have to shift your family's timeline. Warriors, rise, get your shit together, let's go. Love you guys. If you need support, 
First warning, I will never ask you to send me money. We do not invest people's money. Those are scammers. I'm not commenting on your thing. That is not me talking to you. They're using AI technology to mimic our voices. Never send anybody money pretending to be me. I have an insurance company, licensed insurance agents. If you do any transaction with these, you'll be sending money to an insurance company. We teach people how to, how to secure, compound, and grow their wealth with Affinity Banking Concept. That's in my bio here. Free consultations, absolutely free. Then I have my Warrior Academy, which is a paid academy. It is an education academy, not an investment platform. That's in the bio. And if you want free resources, I have my 16-page guide to warrior wealth, all free. So I hope this information helps you guys. Please use discernment. Don't get scammed out there, guys. There is no get rich quick. Love you guys. Two incomes just isn't enough money anymore. Me and my husband are both in our 30s. We make the most money we've ever made before, and we still struggle between every single paycheck. We spent hours every single Friday when we would get paid trying to figure out what we could cut back, trying to budget every penny we had so that we would make it to the next paycheck. The grocery store is too expensive. Vehicles are too expensive. Vacations are too expensive. Houses are too expensive. Two incomes is just not enough anymore in today's world. I have a college degree in physical therapy, and when I got good grades and went to college and did all the right things, it was supposed supposed to solve all those financial problems. That's what everybody told me. It was going to solve all my problems. But it didn't and they lied. And I was sick of struggling between every single paycheck when I was working my ass off, treating more patients than I should be treating. I was overworked, underpaid, and I was sick of it. So I learned a different way to make money. I learned how to make money online. I learned how to use my social media to sell and promote digital products so that I could create another stream of income. I wanted to be able to be home more with my kids and I wanted to be the mom that could go pick my kids up from school and not have to pay for after school care and do all the things. But I couldn't be home and not have a full-time income. Could not do it. But learning how to make money online and creating an income stream that I have created and make money while I still treat patients part-time, but I am able to work part-time now and I don't pay for after-school care. I pick my kids up from school every single day. I drop them off at school every single day, all because I created an income stream from my cell phone. If you're ready to join all the other moms that have learned how to monetize their social media and learn how to make money online so that they could stop living that paycheck to paycheck cycle, then go to the link in my profile and click the very first link. It's going to give you my free guide and it's going to give you all the information on how I learned how to do this. You cannot budget your way out of not making enough money. It doesn't matter if you buy a new budgeting app. It doesn't matter if you research all these side hustles. It doesn't matter how many side hustles you have. If you don't have enough money, you cannot budget yourself into magically having more of it. I currently have $30,000 in credit card debt and I am not throwing everything at that debt because I realized that the one thing that puts me into more debt is not having enough money. So I actually make sure that my spending account is full, my bills are paid, I have money for immediate savings, such as things that are coming up in the next six months to a year, and then I maybe make extra payments on my debt. If I don't do that, if I put all my extra money, all the lump sums, every little penny and nickel towards debt, first of all, I could end up being in debt again after paying that off and that has happened to me multiple times. Debt is not, you don't pay it off and reach a finish line and then it never happens to you again. It's a cycle. Um, but when I do that, when I throw all my money at debt, then I have no spending money to pay for the things I need to pay for and then what happens? I use my credit cards and I get into more debt. That's right. Two incomes is just not enough anymore. We lived on one paycheck for six years and we always had to rob Peter to pay Paul. We always had to juggle bills and it was just never enough. We couldn't get groceries. We couldn't go do what we needed to do and we couldn't say yes to our kids. Or we had to buy a car and that $600 extra payment just sunk us because it kept us living paycheck to paycheck and never getting ahead. I used to be a teacher in special education for five years and I chose to become a stay-at-home mom because daycare prices were ridiculous. I would be paying $1,000 and I would only be bringing home $1,800 overall. Honestly, staying home with my babies is the best thing I could have done, but I had no idea how much it would impact us financially. So that's why I chose digital marketing. I learned a skill to be able to promote something already done. It's in high demand. It already has 11,000 people in the last 90 days. So listen, this month I'm helping 12 mamas be able to stay home with their babies more, generate additional income from home, and be able to learn a process that is literally freaking step-by-step -step of exactly what to do to have that success and thrive. If you're ready and you want the info, there's actually a giveaway going on right now that the only thing that you gotta do is put in your information, go ahead and grab that up, buy it, and then you will be entered right into that giveaway, so do not wait. No, I don't care. That's not the point. I don't know her. Okay, but that's not the point. 
How are you even surviving on 80K anymore? Seriously, that's a piss take of a wage now, there. What does that even bring in? Like just over a K a week? I was at the supermarket the other day and it's like eight bucks for a pineapple and like 12 bucks for a pumpkin. What is going on with this world? If you're on 80K or a similar hourly wage, how are you even surviving? Let alone eating healthy. It's literally insane. Like that's one hour's work for a fucking pumpkin and a pineapple. Don't get me wrong, 80K used to be an all right wage, but nowadays it barely gets you to the next week. By the time you put fuel in your car, pay your gym membership and your rent, what are you actually left with? And if you are left with jack shit, then why are you settling for that? Just because you're on 80K or know that's the most you're ever gonna get, don't just settle for it. There are so many ways to make easy money online nowadays. You have no excuse. You can literally send DMs or take phone calls and earn cash. Ah, oh, here we go. Just this guy talking about a pyramid scheme again. Brother, chill and listen up for once. It's called appointment setting and remote closing. If you think it's a scam, look it up. You need to learn a high income skill, something that's actually valuable. The amount of people with crazy amounts of money that are willing to pay people like you to do small things for them is insane. Now I'm doing it with remote closing and appointment setting, but you can literally do it with anything.